हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल इन टुडे वीडियो इन टुडे पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ लॉग पार्सिंग लॉग फॉर्मेटिंग वर्क्स इन लॉकी प्रॉम्प्टेल इफ यू आर न्यू टू लॉकी एंड डजेंट नो हाउ द लॉकी लॉगिंग टूल वर्क्स देयर आर सम वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल व्हिच आई हैव मेड व्हिच डिस्क्राइब हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल लॉकी in your uh, vm and how you can configure them from scratch and how you can set up the logging by using promptel and uh, from your application logs will be fetched by a promptel and through uh, push protocol it will send to logging and uh, by using grafana we can visualize all the logs which are coming and make many useful dashboard which will helpful to our team developer devops anything and there are multiple tools which i have covered in my youtube channel you can visit here and get benefited please like uh, videos and let's come back to uh, today discussion before uh, starting the i give the, give you the information about how these things will work uh we are working on the kubernetes and uh, on kubernetes we mostly use helm chart to configure the things like uh, we have promptel here and uh, we are using Pro grafana promptel dash official helm chart for the installation of promptel and same uh, if one second in my particular infrastructure i'm working on aks cluster and uh, i have taken the i have created loki by using official helm chart of loki if you uh, want you can deploy through your yaml file and whatever you like uh, that's not the main focus of the today video and then we will uh, then you need daemon set of promptel so these two are requirements are there which you have to create before going for the video so let's start let me give a little bit hint of uh, loki configuration in the lofic configuration i'm using azure storage account as i'm working in aks i have access over the azure portal azure uh, cloud only so i've created uh, one container through which uh, which i will use to uh, send my logs of my cluster all the application over there so these are some things you require when you configure your backend storage if you wish uh, we can create full video of loki installation via helm and prompt installation via helm let's start first i make you clear uh, what is the problem statement if you see these are the uh, loki explorer tab and uh, I have taken the Loki as a data source. Under that, I have a pre-built label namespace, and I have Slack namespace Jagger, which we have done installation in the previous videos. Uh, if you wish to learn the Jagger and this tele open telemetry, and you can go here and uh, through our uh, old video, you can learn the Jagger. So uh, by default, namespace label app port these come. log level is not come so uh, one of the requirement from my team was that they require level as the levels on the promptel log so that can easily filter out and make some useful dashboard out of it so for that we go for the configuration of promptel how we can do configuration uh, either you have to apply it through your helm chart only but first you know how the things work so if you see uh, under the pipeline section pipeline stage section we have different kind of uh, settings available in promptel if i show you here they are uh, here is pipeline stages defined and they are using only the cri flag here 
So uh, if you visit the official documentation of Promptail, you will find there are multiple uh, things you can do. Uh, one second, just we are there. Yes, Promptail pipeline stages under that that CRI that is already passed in the default configuration. Others are not passed. So there are some parsing stages are defined like docker extra data by parsing the log line using the standard docker format and based upon your regular expression you can make some modification and uh, pass some labels under your and you can change the formatting also like uh, in the json if your logs are already coming in the json you can make the things change make things change and uh, extract some keys from there and pass it to your labels and then we have log formatting if your logs are not in the json format then you first need to move or uh, you can say have to make it a json format then you have to replace if you want to replace some expression then uh like you have five or three lines which you are uh, thinking it's are part of one log only you can merge them into one line mm, you can write your logic like that and according to the uh, what are the condition and syntax they have given then other things are also there first uh, for today consider our today focus is first is on json we our logs are already coming in json format and i have to uh, i want to fetch them uh, some keys from out of that and here is it is it's like json and its expression under that uh, what string i want to take and uh, if there are some source is uh, from where i can take otherwise it's take takes it will look for this particular string in the message uh, and under that what in your message what uh, this where this key is required uh, is decided so here is the key and uh, here is this key which will be on your message format we will uh, talk about it in more detail then here is the example like this particular log is coming like uh, this is you can see it is a fully json format and uh, log and and its key is key is log and value is log message hyphen the stream three we can see there are three keys and three values are there and same it is taken in the json and it's uh, under expression it mentioned output output is user def here in the left side is user defined we can define whatever uh, our as per our understanding our as per our syntax and this right hand side things or uh, we can say strings are taken from here from logs it should match some where uh, something from here and if it's normal it will throw you error else you can leave here uh, without like if you're using stream here and you can leave empty here it's automatically look for a stream string here and it will find otherwise if it does not find that value uh, it might throw you some error then timestamp is there for the logs which don't have this key it will not uh, make the labels out of here and if you can see and uh, the following key pair will be created in the set of extracted data this data is extracted like output stream and uh, using that extracted data there are many ways to utilize that first we have main mm, under that we don't have an extra uh, there is should be other log First, we read about this log. There is a JSON message. Under that, we have log, log message, stream, time, and uh, one more key is there. Extra key is there. Extra, and under the extra, the value is again a JSON format. That is nested JSON format, user macro. So, how we can utilize some, we are uh, looking for some use cases here, like, here in the JSON format, it is taking this value and it take extra. Uh, if you are not passing extra here, it will automatically look for the extra string here. And that's why it's taking, it's working at it likes that. 
and we define this extra uh, key but it's ex this extra is, is a nested JSON so we will extract the user value via you uh, like here I declare source source is taken from extra under the expression I mentioned what I require I require the user you know what where was the user user is macro so if you're going to uh, if you look to extract the user directly you can't do that directly so here in the output we are having streams timestamp extra and uh, user macro okay then uh, again other extracted pair there is the user macro now it's saying using jms little path like jrpc dot stream where is the The parameter uses little expression to parse a JSON field with special character in the name. Okay, like dot, uh, it's not supporting the dot and uh, hyphens there. To support, to make them work, you need this kind of syntax that first is the single quote, then double quote, and then this thing will work fine. So that was the uh, log extracting log extraction by using json um, before i show you the its dem, uh, practical aspect uh, let's see one more let's explore one more thing so we can get comfortable with that in same way log formatting will work and uh, we have what uh, in the json we we had that particular expression there and here we have the mapping and under that matic mapping we are uh, particular string like uh, we are mentioned log output that first we see what is the log here it's the time it's not in JSON format and it's giving some time then uh, after that is app is low key level is one and then message this is the log line extra to user and uh, that's the log formatting under that mapping is defined and it is saying that to map timestamp with time, app with look for app, duration for duration, and unknown. Uh, there should be some unknown keys there. If it's not there, it will be empty. Okay, so uh, timestamp under timestamp, it's giving us the extracted data from this log and it's giving a general value of time whatever the time at that point of time what was the time at there it will show then app extract the low key and duration and this extracted data as we used in the json we can use here uh, itself in log formatting like we have used the json exporter in the json exporter itself then uh, you can see it's taking the extra and what we have in the extra extra under that stuff we have some nested values nested uh, key, key value pair it is not in this uh, json form but still it's the key value pair user equal to foo we can extract the key value pair by using this format if i come back uh, the things which we have seen how we can extract the data and how we can use for uh, uh, extraction of some nested data but one thing is still missing there are multiple uh, we can say multiple syntaxes or multiple function functions are available under the pipeline stages under that what we require is the labels actually we need some labels on uh, our log sorry uh, as we don't have the label and uh, might be log label and some other useful information which you want to map like labels is equal to string and uh, that is the schema you can say syntax use define these labels like labels colon then under that key value pair whatever you want to define and here in the JSON format 
and from where we will get this uh, pairs we can utilize whatever we have generated from log fmt and uh, json exporter like here in the json we have expression stream and it is extracted this key value pair stream and we have passed this stream in our labels uh, here you can see there is a log message this same message which we have seen in i think we have seen it under uh, json format and it's have stream and values stdr and we can pass the stdr uh, we can pass the stream is equal to stdr in the uh, levels of log so now move to the main part in our kubernetes.yml file uh, under the snippet we have passed our json expression which extract the labels and it looks for the string level under that and whenever for whatever log it's get this extracted key it will pass this under the uh, we can say under that uh, labels and we will start having the labels in our queue uh, we can say under the logs of log key like here uh, if you have done installation from the default settings you will not find this label is equal to info and uh, moreover whatever uh, I've just created one and uh, you will not find that now we have getting this under our uh, log I can't show you log because of some security purpose uh, security reasons and uh, this they are the fields or labels which we are have I have the app container file name name so this will be generated from the default config now labels we are getting here info uh, what whichever log have the labels in the log line it will display here and in this way you can uh, extract labels or put labels in your logs in Loki and also do some formatting and if you uh, require more there are multiple tool uh, available for formatting uh, you can use uh, any of them i will share link with you please like video to support us thank you